Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. We are continuing with our Angular 9 full tutorial series and today's episode we are starting a new mini series which is on testing. How to test Angular applications, what are the utilities provided in Angular framework, what are the other frameworks which work well with Angular in terms of testing. We'll learn about Jasmine, Protractor, Karma frameworks. We'll talk about different types of testings that are available and so much more. Welcome back. My name is Sridhar. I have over 10 years of experience as a full stack developer. I bring ex experience and knowledge on the modern front end web technologies and frameworks. I'm here to share my knowledge with you also to learn from you all. During the course of this uh, tutorial series, explanations, if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you for free. I'm putting in a lot of hard work in bringing these tutorials for you. So I'll really appreciate if you can support me by subscribing to my channel and liking my videos. Thank you in advance. So far, uh, we have close to 66 tutorials in our Angular 9 full tutorial playlist, ranging from basic introduction to the complex ones that we have covered. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out and make sure you ask me any doubts or queries that you have during this tutorials. So like I said, today we are starting a mini series on testing. Uh, so today's episode, we will learn and talk about the Angular testing scope, what are the different frameworks which are involved, what are the types of uh, testing that's available, all about that you want to know about testing. In the coming episodes, um, we'll, we'll run about some of the utilities that are provided in Angular. And also, I will be covering a new course on Angular testing itself, where I will teach you how to write um, test scripts in Jasmine and Protractor. So, that is a detailed uh, one about how to test so stay tuned for that that's coming soon as well but as part of this we'll just cover about angular cli testing scope so uh, let's first understand some of the testing concepts in angular right so there are mainly two types of uh, testing that is there one is unit testing and the other is end-to-end -end testing so what is unit testing unit testing means testing smaller granular independent modules services, components, pipes is called as unit testing. Now, unit testing refers to testing only a small piece in the big picture, right? The focus is on a task level testing, which means you're, you're, if you're writing a component, you'll only test that component. If you're writing a service, probably you'll only write your uh, test scripts, which will test that service. That's called focus testing because you're focusing only on a particular granular task. Now this, you will provide an input to that um, unit uh, spec and the output will be a smaller sample of it, right? This is ideal for testing individual pieces of the big picture. The frameworks that are used are Jasmine and Karma. Now the, the other type of testing is end-to-end -end testing, where we will automate the entire end-to-end -end functional flow. When I say functional flow, right from login to going into the application, performing some activity, getting some output, and then log off. This entire thing is called a chain or a workflow. So end-to-end -end test will cover in terms of automating that end-to-end -end workflow. It helps in building automated test suites when the application or product size outgrows. So when you're working with a real-time complex, big, large application, chances are that you keep iterating and adding code on a daily basis. So you have to make sure that your code, you are not breaking the functionality somewhere else, right? That's where end-to-end -end testing really helps, automation testing. The framework that is used for that is called Protractor. Now, Protractor is used for end-to-end -end testing. Some of the frameworks that we will use are BDD, which is Behavioral Driven Development, like Cucumber Framework that is used. Uh, we'll learn about it, how to implement them in later, but understand that these are the concepts which are bound to be asked if you're writing in an interview or for your own knowledge sake. Now, let's talk about some of the testing utilities provided by Angular, right? So Angular helps us in auto generation of code. That means whenever we generate a component or a service, naturally 
a spec file is also generated that is your utility file or a spec file or a test script angular natively supports unit tests using jasmine and karma so if you see angular when you install angular when you run angular you will automatically see that jasmine and karma frameworks are already included right which means they natively support it so we can utilize both of them to write our scripts and get our code tested thoroughly angular cli has built-in commands to run unit tests so now when we if you see most of our application components that we developed like component service interceptor pipes directives all of that we used angular cli similarly for testing we can use angular cli since there are some commands which through which we can run our unit test we can run our end-to-end -end tests angular cli will generate us the test files which is spec files if you see in the uh, code you will see that there are spec files we'll learn about that in the next episode but today understand that angular cli will generate the test files we can also use angular in memory service to mock the services so when we create services it will generate a spec file we can use mock services or in memory service to mock those services now angular provides easy way to mock services and use classes which helps in testing so whenever you're making a http call you expect a response right so we can mock that response and simulate the service which is using mock services so we can use all of that we'll see how uh, don't worry about how understand what today all right so the next thing i want to talk about is the support for jasmine framework in angular so what is jasmine jasmine is an open source testing framework for javascript jasmine is a behavioral driven development testing framework in bdd the tests are written in a non-technical language and make it easy for business analysts too to write test specs it does not require any javascript framework the syntax is pretty much easy to read easy to maintain easy to extend jasmine has native support for async testing jasmine supports spy objects that means we can capture a particular or target an element in the screen that we want to test an example will look like this so if you go to your code you should be able to see you should be able to see something like this in your code so when you go to your code you will see some describe statements you'll see some it statements right so these are nothing but um, these are the um, simple english language right that's how we write it it's plain english that we can understand it will always have this structure of describe describe this statement that we are trying to do and then write the test scripts inside it the use cases using it Right, so this will learn how to write it, but uh, just understand that with Jasmine, it's easy to write native uh, test scripts. Similarly, Angular supports Karma framework. Now, what is Karma framework? Karma is an open source testing framework for JavaScript. Karma is created and maintained primarily by the core Angular team. The Karma framework is natively integrated into Angular apps by default. Since it's integrated, we can easily run our tests from the CLI console. One of the most important features is the ability to run our Karma into different browsers or resolutions. We'll learn how to do that in coming episodes. Understand about the theoretical concepts first. Now, Karma is a runner, which means it's used for running and executing the test scripts. You don't write test scripts in Karma. You write it in Jasmine and we run it in Karma. Hence the Karma framework plays well with other JavaScript frameworks like Jasmine, Mocha, etc. Automating the entire end-to-end -end flow becomes easy using Karma, helps in building automated test suites when product size grows, and protractor framework is used for end-to-end -end testing, right? So these are some of the important things uh, about Karma that you should be knowing. Now talks about protractor. So if you see the previous two frameworks, Jasmine and Karma, that would be used for unit testing. And we will use protractor for end-to-end -end testing. 
So Protractor is an open source E2E testing framework for Angular applications. It's, it is built by the team in Google on top of the web driver. It also works as a solution integrator that combines powerful technologies like Node.js, Jasmine, WebDriver, Cucumber, Mocha, etc. Along with testing of Angular applications, we can also use Protractor for automated regression tests. It allows us to test our application just like a real user, right? So, so remember these three things for you. Jasmine, Karma are for unit testing. Protractor is for end-to-end -end testing, right? Let's make some quick notes for you so that way, right? So Angular testing notes. Number one, Angular supports both unit testing and end-to-end -end testing, right? Um, Angular has native support of Jasmine, Karma, and Protractor framework, right? We can also use any other framework of our choice like choice like mocha etc right and then we write our unit tests in jasmine framework right we run our unit tests using karma framework for end to end we use protractor framework okay which now this is the framework the protractor framework is written on top of selenium web driver right so uh, angular cli has built-in commands that can help us do unit testing as well as into and testing right so just remember these things um, go over the framework uh, notes that i gave you in the ppt on jasmine understand uh, the difference difference between unit test and e2e test right and understand and 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 know about the various various frameworks that we will learn in coming chapters right so we'll learn about Jasmine, Karma, Protector, right? So for today, just understand this high level uh, theoretical explanation about testing. In the next episode, I will start you with how to run unit tests, how to configure them, what are the different parameters you can use to optimize it, and all about running unit tests. Thank you so much. I hope you like the video. I'll see you in the next episode.